hi welcome to java net bean football club booking system so let me show you guys how this program works supposing you are a non-member and you, you just need a single ticket you can add out registration number on that ticket for that very day will be none zero zero one and your name let's say you are Sammy oh let's go for Sammy Sammy Davis okay and surname is Jones Sammy Davis Jones and the team you're supporting is the Eagles and all you just need to do is enter those on the table and we we can play it and just enter more members details and this one happens to be a member so a member has md as the number and the member is a supporter of canadian kickers so let's say his name is paul paul goodman details of Paul Goodman there okay guys so all of that those information are on the table here but if we we'll have a good look at this table we can see some errors there if we look at Femi Wells okay, we have duplicated Femi's will booking which means we can always use this the delete and get rid of that and the same thing applies to Rose Banks so let's delete rules rose bank as well and that's it guys so what i would do now is to take you guys straight into java net being development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now okay guys let's start a new project we'll go to file select new java and right there make sure java application is selected click on ok and right in there i'm going to enter a name just call it booking system there you see the create main class i'm going to uncheck that then just click on finish all right so i presume my booking system is somewhere there there we go so that's my booking system there and those are the component right inside the booking system so let's right click on the booking system itself and go to new let's select j frame form this very one right there click on ok now let's give that a name so i'm just gonna call it booking system one word now maybe the package I'm gonna call it booking systems with an S there click on finish now our form is ready so all we need to do now is to define the size of this frame for this frame here let's go for preferred size of about 1000 1300 and by 700 okay that's my preferred size right there okay and right here where we have size I'm going to change that to the width will be 1366 by 700 let's click on ok there all right so if I compile and run what you will see is hopefully it should fill up the screen that is it so close that now let's start with the design okay for my design the first thing I need is I need a panel let's add one panel here and drag it about that much I'm gonna need another panel really and this very panel let's just change the back color let's go to border right there change that to about four right there 
and just copy let's copy paste all right so that's the second one and drag that border down yeah How about that so if I run my interface now this is what you guys will see there you see that so close that and let's start with the design of the whole interface so right here I'm going to enter a label let's get the label in place right there we have a label here and we're going to need another we need three more frames there so let me paste three more frames this one here just reshape that and just copy that paste again Need one more here and one here I'm doing that let's grab it in there so what I'll do now is just speed up the whole interface process then I get back to you guys let's see how it looks like all right let's speed it up all right this is how my interface looks now let's run it and you see how it all looks let's see okay there we go guys here I now have added all of my radio buttons J radio buttons and here I have J checkers these are all supposed to be text box and I then have my selections here in the combo box here I have buttons and underneath here we have tables and here I have the delete button update reset and so on that is how the design of the interface looks for now so let's close that okay for the table if you are wondering how I managed to enter all of this let me show it to you in the properties here you go to the model there and click on this so those are my tables there you can always add okay you can add okay or delete whatever rule you don't want and that's how that is done okay you can specify here how many columns we want and so on so i'm just going to click on ok and show you the other one which is the combo box here for the combo box you have all of the information of the combo box right in here look the model and you just enter you just need to enter all of your information there okay we can even add one more now let's say we, we call that Let's say King, Kingsland Club. Okay, so that's how that is done. So the next thing I want to do now is to take care of the exit button first. For the exit button first, I'm not just going to enter system dot exit. So I'm going to enter what will actually prompt the user. And for the exits, so let's click and select event, go to the action, click on action, and right here, those are the lines of code for the exit. I suppose you can say it. Okay, the first thing I did was I actually define a private J frame. Okay, that's my variable there. If this one is not defined, what will happen is you end up with an error. So, supposing I comment it out, you'll see what will happen. And do that first just want to comment it out okay can you see that see all the errors okay let's get rid of that all right so my variable and this is supposed to be my message box this will pop up to confirm that you want to exit the system and there we go all right okay let's have a look at the reset button right click and select action action perform right in there I have all the reset button there okay here you can see the default table mode okay 
then um, that's the object for the table all i've just done is the, the, the object itself i've set it to zero which means it's going to clear everything as for the radio buttons that's it that's to set the selected button back to false for all the four buttons there and the checkbox the same thing why for the text box we just clear it all okay now let me show you one more thing then for the updates let's right click come on the action perform for the updates that those are the lines of code for the update there all right just update it update the booking system itself now back in here delete so right click select action action perform for the delete right here I have the lines of code for delete there we go so have a good look at it now let's come in here clear right click on the button for clear it's just to clear all of those components that's it okay the same lines of code that we have on the resets now for show details let's come in here for the show details there they are every element inside the table that's it i've just added every single component of my system onto the table those are the lines of codes now let's have a look at confirm booking and here i have the lines of code for, for confirm booking this is just a message box box that will confirm your booking and here those are all the information that i have on my show show details actually in here let's use that to make up confirm booking and that's all there is to it guys and the save button here is just a message box let me show that to you i just enter a message box just to say you've saved your work so if we come back in here so have a good look at the design okay and let's run it as you guys see how the whole system works so select members details maybe some adults single ticket and mi for the for member and the name of the member let's enter Ola Jones let's go for lowercase there and okay supporting South Kilburn Eagles and right in here you can just show details and you add it to the table then you can supposing we have more than one all our Jones there you can always select and just delete okay now let's enter the next customer or the next member so we have a non member there with a single ticket it's an adult and just enter okay non member 0091 let's enter his or her name there we have Ellen in the house so Ellen no. yes she is supporting Canadian kickers and just show Ellen's details there alright that's how you enter all the details so the function of something like delete here like we have Jamie we have Jamie twice in there we can always select Jamie and just click on delete then we can confirm bookings for Jamie that's it the message box pops up saying booking confirm and here we have right in here we can always save okay you can see different icons there okay so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you enjoyed so you all have a nice day now bye for now